Well, hello, my keto family and community. My name is Sarah, and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto. And today, hmm, what could my carbs be today? I wasn't even thinking about looking this up, <laughs> clearly. And um, so here we are, and my carbs today are an even 13. Could that be? Yeah. Oh, let's see. 12.4. I'm having my version of a taco salad, which to some other people it might not be, but I'm having um, red leaf lettuce, romaine lettuce, and spring mix lettuce, and um, about 150 grams of the three lettuces on my oval fiesta plate, six ounces of grass-fed organic beef that has been browned and seasoned, and then um, four tablespoons of Daisy sour cream. And that is it with a lot of hot peppers, the crushed kind. And that's how I roll. I have tried so many different salsas and just, I'm so tired of throwing away $4.50 jars because um, it's just not working. Oh, and then a, a, a medallion of the um, Sabra guacamole that I like. I don't like the um, holy guacamole. Weird, huh? So I'm having that. And so I will be very, very happy. Well, anyway, so today um, I, I did an overnight last night and I was thinking, I was just having these thoughts and, and hear me out on this. I think for all those years, I was allergic to wheat. And I think for all those years, I was, and will always be, addicted to sugar. Now, what's the difference? Well, I think that with the allergic to wheat, I think my body was trying to tell me. I have, um, I uh, had eczema growing up as a, as a little girl, and um, it would certainly take over certain parts of my body. And... Um, in the last eight years or so before I gave up wheat, I had bronchitis an average of seven to eight times a winter. And uh, oftentimes it would culminate in pneumonia, even though I had vaccinations. And I had a constant inhaler or the, um, the machine. I can't remember what the name of that is. I keep thinking CPAP, but it's not. Um, to like the breathing in out thing that I'd put like that little bit of liquid in. I use that all the time. I had um, two types of inhalers, the rescue one for the immediate, and then Symbicort for um, supposed to take four puffs, two puffs twice a day. And um, chronic, chronic asthma, the can't breathe type asthma. And so I had all of these conditions, not to mention hay fever, and just allergic to so many things, but it would always be some sort of respiratory lung type of thing with the wheat. And yet, like a lot of things we're allergic to, my body craved it. And and so I would get the um I would get the consequences of having the wheat. Now, with the addicted to sugar, there were many, many, many times that um you know when i ended my um when i ended my wheat and sugar career decades long i was addicted to those things that you buy at the store they have layers and um you know lots of sugar lots of wheat and um and i would eat two or three of them per week and um yeah, all by my all by myself. Um, I used to like the the cold frozen things that you put in a dish, and I would put frozen candy all over it. Um, but then I just kind of got hooked on this a thing you get at the bakery at the store, two or three of them, different flavors. And so I was eating what I was addicted to. I was eating what I was allergic to, and so what I was allergic to was part of that layer thing. And, and so 
you know, I was just compounding my issues with each bite that I took. And um, there were many. And it was, you know, five out of seven days. Um, and so it, it was just kind of interesting. And so once I started keto and I gave up all the grains, all the sugars, and the fruits, lo and behold, that first winter, I had no respiratory issues. I stopped using the um, emergency inhaler. I stopped, oh my God, I was taking the steroids and the z pack. I mean, it was like, it was like taking it for, you know, the five days, feeling better, waiting another week, getting another bout of it, calling the doctor, he'd fill the script. I mean, what I did to my gut biome, I wonder if I've ever come back out of it, you know? And so I started to um, watch Dr. Uh, Dr. William Davis's Wheat Belly um, just now, just to refresh myself. And he was talking about one of the things that being allergic to wheat is you get that dermatitis thing, that thing that looks like chicken skin all over your body, the pimply thing, and it just doesn't go away and it's kind of gets rough and kind of hardened. Um, like what's up with that? And um, I know that Mike with Keto Mad in his uh, month of being a carnivore, he noticed that his calluses started getting soft on his heels. And I think that's kind of interesting too. So I think our body is trying to tell us something when we're doing that. Now the addicted to sugar, I have to be careful because once you're a pickle with sugar or um, maybe even grains, maybe you're not allergic to them, you're just addicted to them. Maybe you're addicted to like, you know, the bakery things, the boxes of things and and things like that. And you're not um, allergic to the, to the wheat per se, but you certainly are addicted to the forms of it. But when for me, the, the wheat was mixed with the sugar, I just got into so much trouble. I don't know because I gave up the, um, the candy part, which was like straight sugar, really not too much wheat. But then I got hooked on the bakery goods um, in the end. And it was like the final, the final farewell. And uh, so I'm just wondering if any of you feel like you were allergic to maybe the sugar or the wheat or both and that your body craved it so much and then you fed it and it had the ah moment and then the consequences of the allergy or the addiction kicked in. And of course, with an addiction, you're going to have the withdrawal. And Dr. Davis was suggesting that the withdrawal from sugar could be worse than heroin for a lot of us if you ate the type, the amounts of sugar that like a lot of us eat. And it could be anything. I mean, when I think of my sugar bombs, also known as coffee, what I was putting in my coffees, now they're fat bombs. <laughs> no, they're not that that much fat anymore. But um, yeah, when you think about it, um, you know, sugar is everywhere. And it's not, I, I know when I was growing up in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, I don't think sugar was in all of these things. It wasn't in, in like, you know, the pizza sauce or the spaghetti sauce or the ketchup or the salsa. You know, there's added sugar absolutely everywhere. Um, I'm not sure if Coke was always, you know, you know, the soft drinks always had as much sugar, like 25 to 35 grams of sugar added to that water um, to make it, you know, like we're used to today. But um, I know that the addiction to sugar is just rampant. And uh, I turn to Dr. Lustig a lot. And he is he is the take no prisoners man. He has such wonderful lectures out about us being addicted to sugar, but he always takes it nine ways further and um, talks about talks about the economy. And um, <clears throat> I did listen to like an hour and a half lecture and I will be doing a video on that. It was quite fascinating. But um, so... I don't, you know, being addicted to the wheat and then having all those consequences of the allergies. And as some of you may know, I 
I ended up with a pulmonologist because that's what happens when you get so <laughs> so sick every single winter on these things. It's like, what are we going to do with her? And um, and so when I went to him the first full year that I was keto and not having grains and sugars, I told him that I think that the, I felt that those, especially the wheat, directly affected my lungs and my, you know, um, lack of resistance to bronchitis, especially, and then also pneumonia. And I said, has anybody else ever come to you and said that? And they just like looked at me like, do you need a psych eval? <laughs> and I said, no, nobody's ever said that. And I, you know, he's a very nice man, but I just, I sit there and I think mainstream doctors, they're taught something years ago and that becomes the information that they're using. And it, you know, I, I guess maybe there's no continuing ed once they get there or they go back for continuing ed and they just hear the same thing about, you know, what, what scripts work for what, um, whatever ails people now, I don't know. So with my allergy to wheat arrested, and it could all come back tomorrow if I started back on the, on the wheat and my addiction to sugar arrested and it could all come back if I start having sugar. The only sweetener, I two sweeteners I use are Xyla and Pure. The Pure is organic stevia and erythritol. The Xyla comes from hardwood, North American hardwood. And so they both come from a natural source, as it were. And um, I put those still in my coffee. I like a little, a little sweetener in my coffee. But there's nothing else that I like that's sweet. I'm not drawn to any of it. I'm not drawn to any keto-fied um, bakery items or um, any sort of cooking. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I, I'm not making breads or um, waffles or whatever people are making along with the, the sweetened desserts. Um, I just don't keto-fy my items. I do have a keto pizza once a week that keeps me um, sane. It takes care of my urges and, um, I wouldn't, it, it just, it just works. And so, you know, that's my, that's my, um, I don't know if it's still a crutch, but it's delicious. So I have it. And, um, you know, I, I've been on maintenance for over two years and so it all just works for me. But yeah, um, tell me about how you were reacting to your sugar and wheat? And did you ever think that you had an allergy to it or an addiction to it or both? And um, if you still suffer from any cravings today, I know it all stopped for me and I don't, I don't tempt it by watching triggering um, Pinterest things or videos of somebody cooking keto-fied foods. I just, I just steer clear of that sort of thing. Um, and it works, but just curious if any of you had that thought. And um, so that's my deal for the day. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food, talking about allergies and addictions and food. What else? I'm so glad I'm doing keto and I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.